I checked out the Tom Brady roast. Overall review, I really liked it. So I'm going to go through the performances, who bombed, who didn't bomb. But overall, in general, I liked it. Now, I might be a little biased because I am in New England, huge Patriots fan. And to see Bill Belichick there with Gronk and Robert Kraft and Brady and Amendola, <laughs> Julian Edelman. So, but we have to get to the performances. Now, I knew a little bit about this going in because Andrew Schultz had talked about this on his podcast, Flagrant, and how he was actually against them doing this live. And he brought up an inter- interesting point because he said there's going to be a lot of sports guys there reading a teleprompter. And that's just going to take forever. So he doesn't know why they just didn't record it and edit it. But Netflix is getting into the live thing. So I kind of knew that going in that, oh, like the sports guys are going to do it. That's not going to be very good. Let's just say Randy Moss completely bombed. However, I will say this. Drew Bledsoe was actually good. He was actually funny. Julian Edelman was actually funny. Even Gronk was kind of funny. They made fun of how stupid he is. But um, I'd say who did the best was probably Nikki Glaser, surprisingly. Then Tony Hinchcliffe did pretty good as well. Kevin Hart was funny. Um, Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura did this bit. The bit was okay. I'm not going to lie to you and be like, oh, the worst thing ever. No, it was it was just okay. It wasn't that terrible. Um, Nikki Glazer did hit Burt with a great line, though. She was like, Burt Kreischer's only got one joke. You know that one joke you have where you take your shirt off? So that was pretty funny that she brought up that true statement about Burt Kreischer. Um, I knew... Bill Belichick even did a thing, and it was fine for Bill Belichick. Like I said, these are sports guys, so I was shocked if any of it was going to be funny at all. And The Belichick thing was kind of awkward, but funny. Ben Affleck weird, came out. That was weird. I didn't really like that that much. Um, Ron Burgundy came out. Eh, okay, went on a little too long for me. Just okay, though, but... You know, it's Ron Burgundy. Uh, every I can't believe how long this thing was. Three hours. And they had a bunch of sports guys. Like I said, Edelman was okay. I was shocked by how good Drew Bledsoe is. Kevin Hart was funny being the host, although he was kind of like co-hosting with Jeff Ross. Jeff Ross was okay and funny. Overall, very good. Tom Brady... They brought out Peyton Manning. He did a little roasting. Then Tom Brady ended it. Tom Brady was actually fine and kind of funny, too. So, overall, I thought it was actually a pretty good roast, especially compared to other roasts and stuff. And for a live one, I got to give him credit. They did do this live. Like, if they had shot this and edited it and took out all, like, the – terrible parts, it probably would have been, like, one of the best roasts ever. They even had Kim Kardashian there who did a toast, and they started off by booing her, but I'll even say she kind of did okay. And the thing she said, she had an OJ joke in there. Um, Brady got really mad. I'm betting there was only one thing they were not allowed to talk about because they even talked about the Aaron Hernandez thing. And even Brady did an Aaron Hernandez joke. But I think it was off limits for them to talk about Robert Kraft and the massage parlor. But Jeff Ross said something. Brady was immediately in his air saying, don't uh, effing talk about that. So... Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe was actually pretty funny. He got to say, you know, the F word, not the F word you're thinking of, the one that could describe, uh, homosexual, but I think he's allowed to get away with that because everyone assumes he's one. (laughs) 
<laughs> but overall, it was actually a pretty good roast. I suggest checking it out. And uh, Kevin was funny. And Tom was actually surprisingly funny at the end. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. <laughs>